these guys. So here, it's a little bit messy, but I'm leaving it, um, and I'm stubbing back to give it some, some uh, give it a growth spurt. See? Wow. You know? Looks good. And, yeah, and, and it's not like it's not like all those other trees you see where you get just cut everything back and you just got these masses of spurs and no foliage. You know? Wow. It's just you don't need to do that. This is gonna be fun. Yeah. Now, when I used to when I used to prune peaches, all you all you used was one of these. It was all detail pruning because peaches will, will uh, have a peach for, for uh, two years and then the spur won't produce anymore. So you got, you're always creating more fruit wood. So you're always doing little snips. When do you do peaches? Uh, um, you do peaches uh, um, uh, late in the spring. Okay. You know, but... Um, uh, I'm planting it, one this year. So. Okay, yeah. But it, the thing is you don't want to... Um, you don't, you don't want to stress them too much. There's a little bit of stress, you know, okay. you cut things, but not, but you know, they're basically dormant. So, so on the year that you put it in the ground, you might want to just let it go? Yeah, or you might, you do, you can train it too. You do some okay. pruning for training. Okay. But the idea is, is that when you, when you do, when you do uh, peaches, you're always creating lots of new fruit wood. Okay. And so you got, you, you do it all, day, all day long, you just, and then when I used to prune, they didn't pass by the tree, because Richard, the guy's working for a while, to make sure that we did a real good job, so you paid us by the hour for the peaches. Okay. Cool.